everybody, so thank you so much for watching. Today I thought I'd do a cutting soap and talk with me video, I guess, or chit chat or what, whatever you call it, I don't know. But I'm gonna cut some soaps up and I thought, you know, why not just chill here with me and um, let's cut some soaps and, and talk, I guess. So here we go. All right, so the first one that I'm going to cut up is this Shooting Stars. And this is from Christmas of last year, so I've had this for quite a bit, and it's a quite a big, hefty chunk here. And um, yeah, so I thought, why don't I start cutting this down and start using it, because this year they're going to be having some awesome new products, so I'm so excited. So I thought, why not just go ahead and give it a cut? So I've got a plastic plate here and a knife. I feel like the camera's going to shake a lot because I'm going to be doing this on this surface. So you know what? I'm going to do it back here. I'm going to be weird. Do it on my lap. Can you see? <laughs> is this is this weird enough for you? All right. So I'm going to be cutting soap on a plastic plate. I highly do not recommend for anyone else to do this. This is just what I'm doing. So, yep. Here we go. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this into a couple of bricks and just wrap them up. And I've got a few other ones that I want to do, too. And so let's talk some Lush, I guess. And this is the first piece you can see I did really bad. It's like at an angle, just whatever. So that's the first slab there. Hopefully I can get it a little straighter this time. I don't know. What's the best way to do this? You know what? I'm going to bear down on a book. I'm just going to try a bunch of different options here and see if they work. So... Like I was mentioning, the Lush Showcase is happening on right now. I think it's over the weekend. And I've seen a couple videos of all the products that they're going to be having. And I'm excited. There's going to be a lot of awesome stuff. But here's the thing. I don't know how I feel about the naked products. You know, like the naked sour gels and the soap. And, I just, and the body conditioners, I think, are going to work out really, really well. But the soaps, I mean, why would you make soaps in the shape of a pump bottle when they're solid soaps? Like, it's not a liquid soap. It's not like the shape of a bottle. I don't know. It just, it seems really weird to me. I don't like the idea of them making the soap in that shape just because why not do the regular brick shapes? You know, why, why do you have to make it in a pump bottle look? Form. It just, it seems like a really ridiculous mold and I don't think it's going to sell very well, but I think people are going to look past it and just say Lush makes great products, which they do. And you know what? I don't care if the soap's in a pump bottle. I know that looks weird, but it's a great soap regardless. So that's what I think a lot of people are going to do. And I'm probably going to end up doing that too, is just to get one to have it and to try it and see if I like it and stuff like that. But as far as the shower gels go... Now here's the thing, with the solid shower gels, I kind of saw a demo of one, and it seems like when you get them wet, they get a lot softer. So like these products are going to get softer, like as a gel, it's not like a soap where it still kind of stays solid. The liquid, the, the bottle of the solid shower gels seem like they will kind of, you know, get wet and then become a lot slicker than a soap would, you know what I mean? So, the thing is, I just wish that they would do this idea, and I think it would be so much better of an idea than to make it into that format, because I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to make everything naked, less packaging, and all that other stuff. And I, I get what they're trying to do, but it's just like, why wouldn't you have giant drums of the shower gel in the store? Like, you could have it back behind a counter in these giant drums of shower gels, and people could bring in whatever reusable plastic bottle that they wanted. You could bring it in, fill it up, pay for it at the counter, and then you're good to go. You know what I mean? Like, that would be better than having to put it in each individually buy a bottle like that. Instead, you could just come in, fill it up, and then, you know, leave. You're done. But... I just, I understand what they're trying to do, but I think they're, they're going about it in, you know, just a, a different way that I feel like a lot of people aren't expecting. And so it's just going to be new, like a new adjustment, new thing to do, I guess, 
I'm not making any sense here rambling, but these are the slices that I got for the shooting stars. So very pretty, purple and orange. I like this one in particular because it's got like all these different shimmers, swirls in it. So awesome there. I'm going to wrap these individually. So I'm going to push these off to the side here. And then let's start with our next one, which is the Santa's Post Box Soap here. Yeah, like I was saying, you know, I get what they're trying to do, but I just feel like there's so many other formats that they could do it in instead of making a solid version of a shower gel. People are going to still get the liquid. They like it better, performs better. It's just all around, in general, better. But I think if they caught on to the idea of having your own container and filling it up and bringing it in or, like, getting it in, bringing it in to get filled up, it just seems like that would work so much easier, at least in my opinion. But, you know, who knows? They might decide that this isn't the best format for them to be doing this with, so they might try that or something different. It's kind of like a trial run, a test run, I guess. So that's how I feel about that. That way I'm just going to cut this in half, just like that. Santa's post box. So from last year's Christmas. This is really pretty. It doesn't knock my socks off, but I'm glad I got this. Definitely feels like a holiday soap in the scent, so love that. And then the next thing I'm going to be doing is putting <laughs> this gold fun into a pot because you can see how mushed up this is. It's got a little bit of mold from being in my you know, tin container, but yeah. So this doesn't go bad until like the first of 2018, but you can see how soft this is. I just like, it's kind of bugging me how soft it is. So I just want to go ahead and put it in a pot. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And I have it in an empty rub, rub, rub. And I took the sticker off and guess what it says? It says, your wish is my command. How cool is that? Little genie reference. <laughs> but anyway. So yeah, other than that, as far as like, I don't know, non-lush related things, I guess you could say, that I'm going to talk about. Oh wow, look at how smushy that is. Oh, this is just going to plop right in. Oh my gosh, it's so smushy. It's so soft. Oh gosh, I don't even think that's going to hold together. Oh, there it goes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, bam. <laughs> I feel like I just pooped out this fun into this container. <laughs> Very soft. And this gold fun is on the website, the UK website, and it is an exclusive, but you can still get it online. It smells like honey I washed the kids, so I'm just going to break this up. I know this feels super soft. I'm going to try it. Break it up into chunks and make it a little bit easier to grab in there. It's still very, very soft, which is nice. I'm going to try to use this up in my shower. Yeah, so you can get this on the website. It smells like Honey, I Wash the Kids, and it is the gold fun. And, uh, yeah, I absolutely love this one. Can't wait to use it in my shower. Oh, but didn't I say I was going to talk about non-lush-related things? No. I'm pretty boring. Honestly, as far as non-lush-related things go... I am just trying to save up money for all the stuff that I want to do. I'm still trying to lose weight. I'm, I'm struggling in the 170 category. Like, because of my body type, it's really easy for me to gain and lose weight very fast. So, like, I could be three pounds, I could be, I could gain three pounds one week and be five pounds down next, the next week. You know what I mean? Like, a couple of weeks ago, I weighed myself and I was 166. And this week I weighed myself and I was 170. So it sucks. It sucks. Um, I'm really trying hard to get down to 150 by the end of this year. Technically, by the BMI index, I'm like 30 pounds overweight. But honestly, if I lose just 20 more, I'd be happy. I already lost 10 so far. So at my highest weight, I was 190. And over the course of this year, I have lost about 20 pounds, so I'm trying to lose 20 more, and it's a struggle. It's It's been hard, but you know what? I'm just going to keep motivated, keep positive, and just keep on working on it. So, yeah, 
that's all I've got to say. I did my soap cutting, had a little chitty chatty with you guys, and uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!